everybody. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about stuff. Please understand that I am not now, nor have I ever been a professional investment anything. I am simply a person talking to you in a camera on YouTube. We are currently at that point of the uh, bull cycle again. For those of you who do not know, uh, we have been in a bull uptrend in the Bitcoin market, at least at the time of me making this video for at least a month or so. And historically, I have always seen the exact same thing. A lot of friends uh, who before did not want to get into the cryptocurrency space are now sending me text messages and messaging me and asking me how much money they should be putting into the cryptocurrency, the, the, the Bitcoin market, how much money they can make, what they should be doing, how they should be allocating a huge amount of funds. I always find this part a little bit interesting because these are usually people who I told to get into the cryptocurrency space back around 2017, maybe 2018, and only like two people actually listen to me. So here we go. For beginners, if you have not been into the cryptocurrency space before, if this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. Um, understand that uh, Bitcoin is pretty gigantic when it comes to actual financial instruments. And as such, I would recommend that you put around five to $10,000 into Bitcoin immediately, as fast as you can. Right, that was a joke, and that was a very bland joke, I would say. But understand this is what other YouTubers tend to tell you. Throw as much money as you can into the market, as quick as you can, as fast as you can, because Bitcoin's about to go to a million dollars, and you need to have as much as you possibly can hold. The actual answer is, uh, how much money should you be putting into Bitcoin? How much should you invest in Bitcoin? I would recommend, here we go, if this is your first time in the market, or even if you are, you know, have been here for a while, put $10 into Bitcoin. One zero. Yep. No more than that. Why? Because a lot of people tend to think that uh, or hear that Bitcoin is going to make them very rich. This is not a bubble bursting video. It's more of a, you have to understand the people who you hear from in articles or TV shows or somewhere on the internet who you know, are worth $50 million, who are Bitcoin millionaires, who are so-and-so, these people have typically been in the cryptocurrency market for at least five to seven years. What a lot of new people never know, and it's understandable, it's a brand new asset class, what people tend to not know is that not only is Bitcoin volatile, like you've heard in the news, when you're actually in the market, it's sometimes terrifying. I had a number of friends, still friends with them. Years ago, they were asking me how much money they should put into crypto. I tell them maximum 50. I know these people, I know they have money, if you will. So I tell them, put 50 bucks into the market. They don't listen to me. Sometimes people have actually bought an entire Bitcoin. People have put three, four, five, six, seven thousand into the market. Market's doing well, market's going up. They'll message me and say, yeah, this Bitcoin thing is great. I absolutely love it. We are in always four year cycles within the Bitcoin market. It has to do with Bitcoin's halvings. No need to explain it. The entire point is they happen every four years. There's a big up and then there's a big down and there's a big up then there's a big down. Usually you tend to hear about the Bitcoin market when there's a up, when prices are beginning to go up. And part of the problem is, is this is usually when people throw in tons of money into Bitcoin expecting it to go to three, four, 19 million dollars per coin. Bitcoin's price ends up falling down over the course of about a good year, year and a half, and the people who put 1,000, 15,000 money into the market, uh, they begin to get angry and sad and annoyed and confused. Why? Because the vast majority of other YouTubers are telling them to throw as much money into the market as possible. You need to do it right now. Now's the time to get in. I know some of you even heard me to say, now's the time to get in. That's YouTuber talk for throw as much money into it as possible. I don't care about you. However, uh, a lot of times, I've noticed, regardless of what videos I make trying to tell people to be cautious when being inside of these markets, a lot of people will dump huge amounts of money, the market ends up going down, and they write in my comment sections, you told me to, to put tons of money into the market. No, twas not I who told you that. That much I can definitely assure you. Put $10 into the market. Get a feel of it. 
Understand what it means when you wake up one morning and you see that Bitcoin's price is up by 6% and you carry that feeling with you the entire day and you go, I made money from doing absolutely nothing. Go to sleep. Wake up the next day and see that Bitcoin is down by 14%. Because someone said something in a blog that then went to the Wall Street Journal, that then got published by the New York Times, that then ended up on Twitter, and everyone panicked for no gosh darn reason, and Bitcoin's price fell. You have to understand, this is going to sound crazy, you have to understand what it means to lose money in this market. Everyone has lost money in the market who's been in the market. Everyone, even for me... I buy all the time. I don't time when things are up or above. I simply just accumulate as much as I possibly can. And sometimes I also buy at the top. No one knows when the top is. If we could tell you when exactly the market top was, we'd all be trillionaires. That's not how any market actually ends up working. So when prices fall, I had this in another video. For the coin, ApeCoin, I bought it at, I think, $24, $25. It subsequently fell back down to $2. That's part of the market. You have to understand that these moments are going to happen. Bitcoin is not, B-I-T-C-O-I-N, is not a get-rich-quick scheme, as many people told you this many years ago, and they were like, it's only for people who are trying to get rich quick. No, that is not a thing. Bitcoin is not going to be $100,000 tomorrow. Bitcoin is not going to be $10 million in a year and a half. You will not get wealthy immediately from Bitcoin. That's probably the easiest way to say it. If you wish to be an investor in Bitcoin, buy around $10. And, I'm, and I don't mean the $10 that you were going to use to buy baby formula or to keep your electricity on. The extra money that the extra extra money that you have at the end of the month, throw it into the market. Look at the market for a good two to three months. You will be fine. You're not missing out. Stop trying to FOMO. Stop thinking that, that if you don't put money into the market right now, Bitcoin's gonna go to $87 million and you've missed out. That's not how the market works. Put a tiny bit inside of the market, wait two to three months. Look at the fluctuations daily. See how you feel personally. Do you mind the feeling of waking up and you lost 15% of your investment? Even more so, that's the point of you putting $10 inside. Do you mind losing 2 or $3 from your investment? Probably not. Would you mind if you had put 10000 inside and you lost 15%? Yeah, you probably would. You probably wouldn't be too happy after that. The number is different for everyone. I say I don't care if you are wealthy. I don't care if you are really, you know, uh, trying to get into the cryptocurrency market because you want it to be in some ways life changing to you. This none of this is going to make you rich immediately. I don't care what coin it is. You will hear stories after watching this video. Somebody made $4.7 million from Shiba Inu or from Ethereum or from Litecoin or from this other coin. Yeah, these people were buying this coin for years and years and years and years. They were buying small portions every single month after having been through other cycles in the market where prices went down, they looked into the market and began to buy. It is a very deliberate and steady thing. We may be far more volatile than real estate and or the stock market, but you have to understand we do eventually get back above to where we previously were before. Bitcoin, as it stands right now, looks relatively poised to still be around in the next 10 to 15 years. Its price will probably be a lot higher than it currently is right now, but you will still have the chance in 10 to 15 years to buy, especially if you get used to the market as it is right now. That's the answer. That's how much money you should be putting into Bitcoin right now, especially if you are brand new to the market. Uh, do not throw tons of money into the market. Do not take out a mortgage on your mortgage. Do not refinance. Do not take a loan. It will not end well. It will not end well. Not end well, will it? Try to say it multiple ways just in case someone didn't get it the first time. Um, yes, this goes the same for every other cryptocurrency as well. You will be tempted at some point if you are new to this market to throw tons of money into these coins. Understand, you need to have thrown in several thousand a year over the course of a five to seven year period to wait for the market to finally actually move up to hopefully 
make a high six figures and or low seven figures. It takes due diligence and time. I'm sorry that this channel is not the hypiest thing you were looking for, but please have a look around. Welcome to the cryptocurrency market. Welcome to the Bitcoin market. It's a bit of a doozy, uh, but if you understand the actual economics behind inflation and Bitcoin's deflation, I think you will do just fine. I do sincerely hope that you have all enjoyed. I do hope you all are having a great day, morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, wherever you might be. Do hope it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching, listening, liking, commenting, and or supporting. And I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.